Hey everybody, this is Michael Rosso here in the Film Photography Project studio. And today I have an array uh, of Polaroid cameras. And the subject is Polaroid instant photography. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I always think of the kid from Home Alone, like, <laughs> which camera? Seriously, which camera? If you want to get into Polaroid instant photography, where do you start? And my goal today, quickly, of course, is to sort of just break it into little pieces so we're not all so confused. Let's start immediately with what I call the James Garner Polaroid-type camera, which is your classic SX70 uh, white rainbow-striped camera. This is an SX70 camera. It was first released in the mid-1970s. And the predecessor to this camera was this gem. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> this was introduced in 1972. And this is the, the one of the first models of the classic SX-70. Both cameras take the same film, SX-70 film, which is now made by the Impossible Project. And they both produce, it's called integral type film. And it basically comes out of the camera, and you wind up with a classic Polaroid print. Years later, in the 1980s, Polaroid introduced Polaroid 600 film. And this is probably now the most common-looking Polaroid one-step camera. This takes Polaroid 600 film. It's not very different than SX70, except the film speed is a little bit different, and it is a different film pack. And, of course, this camera evolved into we have various versions of. You have the, the sonar versions, ah. uh, which have autofocus. Auto! And these cameras produce the same type of image. Here's our very own John Fideli, which, by the way, is behind the camera right now. That's John on the skins. Uh, these days, because people also ask, where can I get Polaroid film? Well, the answer to that question is, sadly, you cannot. Polaroid does not make film anymore. However, you can get SX-70 color and black and white and Polaroid 600 film color and black and white from the Impossible Project. They manufacture new film for vintage Polaroid cameras. You have the classic Polaroid. You also have what I call the peel type film. And the peel type film, here's a picture of my mom with her brand new microwave oven this past Christmas. Yes. Here's uh, during antipasto, here's my Aunt Linda, my brother, scoffing down some delicious antipasto. Here's, here's my dad on the phone to Aunt Mary, Christmas Day. And all these images were captured on a Polaroid automatic land camera. This type of camera, it's a whole different animal. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, check that out. Bellows! Yeah, it has bellows. This camera was introduced in 1963 and it was a whole line of cameras. This particular one is the uh, what I call the Smoovin 320. This camera is also made popular in the uh, TV show Mad Men. You'll see uh, Don Draper walking around with his Polaroid automatic land camera. And the difference between this camera and, let's say, this type camera is the type of film. This camera uses the, the uh, peel film, which you will pull out of the camera, let it develop, and then you would peel it. And that film is now manufactured by Fujifilm and is readily available in both color and black and white. So, clearly... You have some decisions to make as to what camera should I get if I want to get into Polaroid instant photography. The answer is up to you. I say, of course, all of them. <laughs> I have. Uh, you, you can pick up these cameras uh, on eBay.com. Buyer beware. Always ask your seller or look for auctions that uh, are well taken care of cameras, like this particular one-step camera, as you can see. I've marked it, scuffed. The camera works fine, but it's scuffed the heck up. Other times you'll get a camera, like I bought this camera. It's in fairly minty condition, works great. 
And of course, let's not forget the wild card in the bunch, which is the Polaroid Spectra camera. Watch this. Look at that. The Polaroid Spectra camera was introduced in the late 1980s and continued through the 1990s. If you watch, let's say, a Jim Carrey movie in the 1990s and they take a Polaroid, they're going to be using one of these babies. Now, the difference between this camera and, let's say, this camera, or let's say this camera and, let's say, this camera, is the fact that Polaroid Spectra film is a little bit wider. Check this out. I took these pictures at Christmas time. <laughs> This is the wider Spectra film. This is a Christmas ornament my mom had set up. Here's my dad hanging out in the kitchen, kind of wondering, like, you know, kind of wondering when's dinner? Like, when's Christmas dinner going to be served? And this film is readily available from The Impossible Project. So this was the little wild card, the Spectra system, which will further confuse you <laughs> regarding which Polaroid format to select. As always, you can send me an email, podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. If you have any questions, uh, there's also a lot of information on the web. Don't be afraid to use the Google to look up information about these cameras because the decision is yours. Which format? And then once you pick the format, which camera? So many choices. Filmphotographyproject.com is the main website. Please do stop by. Lots of fun stuff going on there. And let's not forget about filmphotographystore.com. You can actually purchase these cameras and film for your Polaroid camera at the filmphotographystore.com. Till next time, this is Michael Rosso. And whatever you do with photography, always remember to have fun. I know I do, and I'm going to have some fun right now. For the red light to go off, is John. No, don't stick your tongue out. That's not nice. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs>